Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I would like to continue uh, with the TV and knife brand. This will be the unboxing and first look of a new knife. This is the model 143. Uh, here are the information from the box. Model number is ST143 uh, Brown. And uh, in some of my previous videos, I did speculate a little bit about that uh, maybe all those uh, Kesivo, Tuna Fire, Free Tiger and so on uh, are made in the same factory as the Sativian knives are and then uh, came I came across at the model 143 uh, and I was really surprised because for once we do not get any kind of that uh, dark brown uh, canvas micarta but we are getting that uh, light brown, orangey looking one that uh, companies like uh, CVV, QSP are you using or did have used in the past. And also is used by all those Kesivo, Tuna Fire, Free Tiger brands that basically uh, just uh, uh, put their own name on the same knife. So. There my speculation uh, did go wild and uh, therefore I will probably say that I'm more uh, more convinced that uh, those brands are made in the same factory as, as TVN. So, but let's continue with the specifications. So uh, we have a hole length of 21.2 uh, centimeters or 8.3 uh, inches. So this is definitely a, uh, a really medium to large sized uh, Folder. The blade is 9.2 centimeters or 3.6 inches with a width of 2.6 centimeters or 1 inch. Thickness is 3.3 millimeters, 0 0.13 inches. Uh, blade length is 12.1 centimeters, 4.7 inches with a thickness of 1.3 centimeters, 0 0.5 inches. On the blade, uh, we have a D2 blade uh, with a satin finish with a beautiful uh, long clip, uh, clip point uh, profile blade. On the handles, like I mentioned, we have a brown canvas micarta, light brown canvas micarta. We have full liners this time, no skeletonization whatsoever. And uh, yeah, let me check something here. So no skeleton whatsoever. The pocket clip has, I, for some reason, they even do not use the, the standard Sativian pocket clip, deep carry one, but it will give us uh, this, uh, dare I say, horrible looking, <laughs> uh, really, really, really stiff. So this is basically a nail buster, uh, probably, uh, probably heat treated stainless steel pocket clip which is just a bent piece of steel a little bit of weight direction here <laughs> that baffles me maybe they just uh, purchased lots of them from somebody because we have skeletonization on the pocket clip and not inside on the liner so yeah I don't don't know what's going on with this model this, this one is completely off the rails from the, the previous ones in the series but it is what it is. So uh, let's continue. The, uh, the pivot assembly it rides on cage ball bearing washers. That is the same, of course, like all models have. So it is really nice and smooth. A liner lock for the lock itself. We have open construction to stand us here. A recent, decently large sized lined hole. And as far as opening goes, you can choose via the sharp flipper. Or you can also use the thumb hole opener right there. We have a nice functional uh, jimping on the top of this ramp, so it will nicely lock your finger. And we have a beautiful uh, saber grind uh, on the blade. So now let's continue with the sharpness test. So I say, okay, this is decently sharp. Now, let's continue with the 
pocket profile. It will go inside without any problems. Let's check out the lock engagement right here. So it's really early, like most TV knights have. So let's try it out if we are having a good lock or a bad lock. Okay, so this one did not fail. I feel slight wiggle, but no play whatsoever. So thumbs up. Nice job, Stevian, also on this one. Now, uh, the weight is 114.6 grams or 4 ounces. Exactly. So, definitely a really nice and, and lightweight knife. If they would uh, put some uh, skeletization on the liners, it will be even uh, lighter. As far as variants goes, you can choose from either uh, black green or brown micarta and there is no g10 as far as i know probably the best thing about this knife is of course uh, the last uh, uh, point on my on my sheet and that is the price so if you are from uh, us you will uh, you will see uh, on aliexpress uh, the price 17 dollars at the time of course when i made my notes this can a little bit change but uh, if you are from Europe, you are looking at 18 uh, euros and 50 cent. So basically uh, a, a decent meal here around and uh, you are getting a really nice, nice knife. I have to have to comment on the, of course, of the blade. So this is D2, so it is a semi stainless. So please be careful. When you're using this knife uh, it will require some maintenance because it can rust on you now let's see a few size comparisons so there will be uh, lots of knives that uh, look uh, a little bit similar like this one but uh, recently uh, one uh, came to my attention that uh, this one uh, does look really similar to the uh, grabber if i'm uh, remember correctly the name of this uh, QSP here and I'm really happy that uh, they went with the uh, with the light brown micarta since basically if they would use uh, the the same uh, styling like on this 102 uh, they would look really really similar so black coated blade uh, dark brown uh, micarta there so yeah, just keep that in mind. But if you don't care about this, then uh, should be no uh, problem. Now let's continue with uh, some more models. And this is what I was talking about. That the, this is Watchman W111 and the Tuna Fire Casivo uh, 956. So basically, if you see, you have same. Uh, same uh, factory feel so uh, the micarta looks really on point uh, I forgot to mention that on the pivot you have uh, this blue color here that also some uh, tuna fire cassie one eyes have a really nice touch uh, milled out uh, pivot screw I would be more happy if they uh, would go that extra mile and uh, done the uh, done the stone washing and the skeletonization but then of course this knife would, would not cost uh, 17 dollars or 80 18 uh, euros uh, and the thing that i checked when i made a pause uh, is that the watchman has a really nice uh, skeletonization so they definitely can do a really nice skeletonization also the casivo and tuna fire have them but these are around 25 to 27 dollars uh, the Tuna Fire Casio has even different sizes of pockets here, not only those uh, hold milled out that uh, lots of uh, CTV and knives uh, will have. This is the model 152, if you're interested, a 
something uh, also nice and large uh, with different uh, blade configuration and my Carter scales. So, a little bit speculation, but uh, we don't know, or I don't know uh, if it is true that uh, it's the same company who is making these knives. But definitely, if you, you see some some new name pop out like Free Tiger, Tuna Fire, Kesivo, and so on, you don't know who, who the, is the, the maker or who is the who is the company who is producing these knives. You only see a uh, brand name that can uh, they can scrap it. They can uh, they can uh, make a different series and they just go with the, with the new name. So yeah. If we like to uh, to have something similar, but uh, buy a, a brand that has a much higher reputation, in my opinion, of course, uh, you can choose from uh, Bestech. They own the Bestech Man brand, and this is the model Dundee, designed by Ostap Hell. And this is also an important topic to uh, to to speak about this because. I do a lot of these uh, inexpensive knives because uh, I really like different designs uh, on the budget uh, with my Carta and this is what uh, the Chinese are currently producing. But if you are not like me, you are not a collector and you want only one knife and you uh, would like to go uh, with a much higher reputation so you don't uh, mind to pay uh, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars, then of course you can choose uh, from uh, lots of different companies, like for example, you can choose from Best you can choose from Kaiser. So here is the Feist. That will cost you definitely much more, uh, around $100 and so on, but uh, you are getting a, a really a beautifully designed knife by Jason Lundquist. And I forgot, this is the Excel version. So there's also a small one. And with a, with a much better micarta, I have to add with this. Also, uh, this is just happens to be a deal exclusive, but uh, this one also has a beautiful uh, a linen type of my card here. And designed by Ostop Hell, so then of course you, you can you can you can go the route like I mentioned. QSP has a good reputation. Uh, for example, here is the from them the the penguin, a really excellent model. You can choose from different materials, different sizes, uh, different blade finishing, and so on. And here is the CVV uh, Elementum. So another great company owned by V. They will give you also, also three options. You, you can either choose a product from uh, from V, which is high end, your all your uh, uh, super steels, N390, titanium handle scales. You can choose from. Uh, something from CVV, which will have uh, nice micarta, G10, also Damascus blades uh, for around $100. Uh, and then, then you can also choose from um, uh, from Senkat, which is also owned by V. And you can go go even the budget route because they will have some knives even under $50. Now let's continue with the Benchmade bug out. And also the Benchmade Large Reptilian. So I have also have to mention Petrified Fish when we are talking about great uh, price point, good materials and really great uh, micarta. And the Petrified Fish is also a brand uh, that uh, I don't uh, need to uh, to forget, okay? So this is the model 949 uh, made in K110, which is basically also also D2, you know, just a branded name. You can see uh, the Warrior is a little bit larger, but you can see the differences. Now, let's see some more premium knife here on the table. So this is uh, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 with the Kruger and the uh, their canvas micarta. The venerated red model one, excellent all around EDC. And of course, around $55, $60, the Kaiser Backlighter 2. Spyderco 
and Dura. A rough ride of peanut. And let's mention one more uh, good Chinese brand. That is the Kubi knives. And this is the model Aries, which I sometimes I pick out uh, to feature here on my channel. So, and let's close it down with the K-Bar Dozier Folding Hunter. So overall, the 143 is one of the best values you can you can uh, currently have from uh, CTV knife. Uh, probably in the future, uh, I will uh, get some more. Uh, who knows what the price points uh, will be right now? But uh, usually, uh, these knives are around uh, uh, from from that 19, 18. Uh, for example, this one is 17 to the 30, 35 uh, dollar mark. So if you're looking to get uh, some of these uh, inexpensive budget friendly offerings, then uh, strong suggest check out my Citivian playlist. And if you're looking for uh, other knives than that was featured here on my channel, then you can choose uh, to check out also my other playlist. I try to keep them nicely and, uh, and, uh, and uh, neat uh, uh, together with brands and so on so you can as you can uh, check it by yourself okay with that being said i would like to thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave comments down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can of course if you are subscriber thank you very much big thumbs up to you and if you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos with that being said wish you a wonderful day hope to see you soon bye